Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with another fan TV, man. Bad gas, another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos. Let's get into the Ravens news up today. And that's that the Ravens have officially signed Rocky Sin to a contract, all right? Um, this is kind of some Ravens news that we've kind of been waiting on, kind of been expecting since he visited here. What was that, maybe like a month ago or so? Um, and that for the Ravens to sign him. So when the Ravens have officially made that happen, and now that that cornerback two depth, that cornerback two slot, is probably filled by Rocky Sin right there. You know, you have to imagine that guy's coming in to be that starter behind Marlon Humphrey. You know what I mean? So um, let's talk about Rocky Sin. Let's give a little background on him, and then let's just talk about the signing. So Rocky Sin, uh, 26 years old, uh, from the 2019 draft, second round pick, number 34 overall. So this is a high draft pick. You know what I mean? So 34, year, 34 overall, that's damn near in the first round. You know what I mean? So uh, by the Indianapolis Colts, he played for the coach for three years before he was traded to the Raiders. Uh, he was a part of that Yannick Ngakwe trade that got him from uh, Las Vegas to the Colts. So that's how he got over there. He played one year for the Raiders, and now he was here as a free agent. Hold on real quick. And now he's here uh, with the Ravens, all right? So um, for the Raiders last year, they weren't a very good defense, but Rocky Sin was one of the few, I would say, probably bright spots on their defense alongside uh, Max Crosby um, down there. So... Yes, that what he came from was a little rough with the Raiders, but at least he shined an opportunity that he did have. Um, now, what we got to talk about with Sin is that um, games played, right? So when he did play this year, he played 89% of the snaps for the Raiders, but he only played 11 games, so, and he's placed on IR. So we're talking about 2019, he played 15 games. 2020, he played 13 games. 2021, 13 games again. Then last season, 2022, he played 11 games. So... That's the major concern about signing Rockison right there is that the injuries, right? How many games will you get out of him? Now, 13, 13, that's pretty good. 11 is a little few than, than you would like. But if he can manage to stay on the field, the Ravens have officially shored up cornerback two. And that's something they need to do going into this offseason. Um, so I am a fan of the signing. I think that um, it's not a bad deal either. It's one year, $6 million. Um, if he plays well, he can get you know get more. So, according to Adam Sheffield, underwent a physical today. So him and the Ravens are going probably going to come to terms on the deal probably later this week, and you know he'll be a, officially a Raven contract signed. We'll see all of that happen. So last year, on this Raiders defense, like I was talking about, he had 45 tackles, uh, seven pass breakups, and um, he had if you care about this, you know, some people don't care, but. Uh, he had a 66 grade on PFF. For comparison, Marcus Peters had a 68 grade on PFF. So very similar, except for the fact that, you know, he's not coming off an ACL and he's not, um, he's also younger than Marcus Peters is, right? So he has, um, he's 26 years old. Marcus Peters is, you know, got to be over 30 at this point. So um, that's the major difference. Now, I don't think that bringing Rockets in here completely rules out of Marcus Peters. The Ravens, if the, if the contract numbers are correct, you know what I mean? If it's not too much, I can definitely see Marcus Peters coming back on a deal here and still being a part of this Ravens team moving forward. Because um, Rocket Sanders is a solid player. He's a really good player. I can say really good. So he's a really solid player. And he's a good cornerback two option, right? Um, also, something I talked about in the Biggest Needs video is that you don't need to have two superstar corners to be an effective defense going forward. The Eagles had, you know, Darius Slade, James Bradbury. That's, that, you know, so that, that's great. But, you know, I looked at the, the Chiefs, the Bengals, the um, the 49ers, you know, it wasn't superstar cornerbacks out there. You know, it was more about can your front seven get pressure and things like that. But you need to have solid guys on the back end that are dependable when they're out there. And Rocky said when he's out there, he is a dependable starter. And that's what the Ravens need. They need a guy that was going to be a dependable starter, somebody that they can count on and rely on when they're playing. And maybe they just didn't feel like they had that, you know, Jalen Armour Davis struggled second year corner. Brandon Stevens hasn't really taken that step as being a, a pure starter at corner. I think he's almost kind of really better as a safety. I've said that before, too. Uh, but Rockison being here, I think that, you know, I don't think the Ravens are done remaking a secondary. I think they can still make other moves. Like I said, they can still bring back Marcus Peters if they so choose. Uh, but it's a good step in the right direction, right? The Ravens are building a solid team with a championship type of aspiration, right? So you don't you don't want to go into the season with any holes, right? Rock your sin, put him at cornerback two, you've taken care of that hole right there. So I'm a fan of the sign. I think that is a good deal for him. I think it's a great deal for the Ravens. Um I think that, you know, the Ravens have a solid now cornerback room, right? I feel very, very comfortable with the cornerback room. If I'm if I'm the Ravens now, I'm looking to can I add some veterans on the defensive line? Just just to get a rotation in the mix, right? Because you just need guys coming in and out of the game. Um but um as far as the Ravens and Rocky Sin, man, to me, 
Uh, it's a B. B signing. Uh, B type of player, really solid. Let me know your grades from Rockets in the comments. You know, we'll do A, B, C, D. You know, you know how you know how it goes. So, um, with the Ravens doing this, they kind of saying that, hey, look, man, we don't want to have any place where there's question marks. And I agree because sometimes Ravens have gone to the season with uh, question marks in certain positions that we wish they didn't have those. Um, so with this kind of signing, there's no question mark here. We know what he is. We know what kind of player he is. And with him being on this one-year deal, we're going to try to – he's going to try to get the very best to the Ravens. We're going to get the very best out of him. Um, so I think it's a positive signing. I'm a fan of the move, like I said. Um, for me, cornerback two, be solid, be dependable, be somebody that, hey, teams don't want to target Marlon Humphrey. They're going to come after you. Can you hold your own? And Rockinson has been a guy so far in the NFL has proven that he can hold his own. Um, he's the kind of corner that the Ravens like tough, physical. Um, like I said, I think I, I don't know if I said his height, weight, but six foot, 192, um, physical kind of corner, will make tackles. So he's the kind of guy that the Ravens go after all the time. So it makes sense on a lot of levels. Um, so yeah, that, that's my thoughts on the Rocket Sense sign. It's solid. I'm not going to get too pumped up, too excited about it because, like I said, he's a solid cornerback, too, who's going to make the defense. Um, he's not going to be any mistakes on the defense, right? He's not going to be the guy that's going to cost you the game. So um, he's a good starter, and the Ravens needed a good starter behind Marlon Humphrey. So good deal all around. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll talk about it there. But until next time, man, it's Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.